Hey guys, LP here, and today's video is actually going to be about EMP Shield. We're going to talk about it in two phases. First and foremost, our sponsor for Prep Stock is one of them is EMP Shield, and they sent us three devices to give away during the uh, um, the during the Prep Stock event. And so I wanted to show you what uh, they sent us, and then I'm going to show you a video on how. It was one was installed on my own personal vehicle. I actually have two of the devices myself, uh, and um, the uh, these are the ones that are going to be given away. They're on the on the table behind us, but uh, I already have one that was installed. I've had it for years. All right, guys, it's the real deal. So once again, it is going to be what they sent us and what's already installed in my vehicle and how I installed it. Uh, let's get into it. So this is the box that uh, EMP Shield sent us months ago. In fact, is there a date on here? This back in March of this year, they sent this to us. There's three devices on here, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what they were before we get into the installation. Sorry about that noise; it kind of hit my mic. Uh, and uh, like, I've never even actually pulled these out yet, so I know it's in the box just by what I read. But it is what it is. Looks like we've got we've got three devices. One of them is the EMP Shield Home EMP and Lightning Protection. We've got an EMP Lightning Protection for vehicles and an EMP Shield EMP Lightning Protection CME Defense. So it looks like two for the house and one for the vehicle. Um, one, is, one is these numbers, these numbers right here. Maybe I can zoom in on them later. We'll see what happens. But let's get this out of the way. And we'll even push this out of the way so we can pull these out one at a time. So inside this box, there is uh, there's one. And I'm going to move this around, guys, so you can see all this stuff. There's two. There's three, and there's nothing else in the box. So we're just going to put the box over here for now, because obviously I'll have to repack these to get them to prep stock. Let me go ahead and move the camera real quick, and we'll start from there. Okay, so moving these things out of the way, we'll get one out. Let's see, let's get that. There we go. There's the center. All right, so here's one. Does it say on the box what it is? does not. The box is kind of generic, but that's okay. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, we got some wires. This looks like this is probably the home model. I'm not sure just yet. Um, this is, wow, I didn't know that they got a little sticker that comes inside of it. Uh, this is vacuum sealed to the package, so I'm not going to be opening up that. Clearly, I'm not going to be opening that up. Um, it's hard to tell which one this goes to. Uh, if installing in a vehicle, we've got ooh, instructions. We've got some color instructions. So this may be the vehicle model. I, I think it is. Uh, this looks similar to the one that I put in my vehicle. But obviously, they're going to change. Um, they're going to change their design from time to time. I know they have a smaller version of this, uh, but just for the sake of making sure that everybody who has the possibility of winning this at prep stock uh, actually gets what it's supposed to be. We're going to box this one up. I'm going to throw, push this one off to the side. I'm going to grab another one, and uh, we'll see what this. I actually think that was the vehicle model one. All right, so this is the. Once again, we get a sticker. <coughs> We've got some installation instructions. Yeah, these are going to be. This is going to be going inside your house, is what this is going to be. And this one's slightly different. Uh, it's very similar in design, uh, but obviously it's meant for your house. And it has, uh, looks like we've got a four wire. We've got a green, a black, a red, and a white. So this one's going to be going inside your house. Let's put that all back once again so that people get what they get at prep stock is what they get at prep stock. And the other one should be very similar to this one that we just opened up. That was the, uh, that's the 240 volt. I just realized these are actually marked. So that was the SP120 240 volt W. What's this other one say? That one doesn't say anything on it. That's definitely the automobile. And this, this is the SP120 240 volt RL. Crack this puppy open. See what's in here. Once again, this looks like a home installation. Uh, this one is the it's the same it's the same as the other one. The difference is is this has some remote leads to it. I'll show them to you now. So when you 
pull it out of the box. You've got that same box over here. You've got that same box that you would install inside your house, but you actually have some remote leads. That, whoop, there we go. That you can put inside your house. So you can see if the system's on and if it's been activated. It looks like L1 and L2 is what it looks like. So you actually have those little bitty leads. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back inside the box so we can give it away during prep stock. But uh, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys now a video of how I actually installed one in my own vehicle and how, is, how easy it is. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these in this vehicle so you can actually see. This is my vehicle. This is the one I drive every single day. going to come packaged. It'll look just like this. Uh, EMP DC 12 volt W. Positive negative ground. It's already preset. I apologize for the background noise. I'll probably end up narrating most of this. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. See how fast we can actually get it hooked up. Man, I hope the wire is long enough. Okay, so it was actually pretty interesting making this video uh, because even though I know what positive, negative, and uh, ground <coughs> look like, the same distance. I, uh, I still in my mind was like, oh, there's got to be some kind of reference that I actually found later that I'm going to show you. Uh, yes, that's actually a stick holding my hood open. Uh, I keep it in the back of the vehicle uh, because the, uh, the shocks on the, the damn thing are blown out. Uh, I chose that back left corner because it's got a huge space and it's also got a great ground that's already existing that I didn't have to go looking for. I would have liked to have it on the right hand side of the vehicle or on the left hand side of the vehicle but on the right hand side as you look because it would have been closer to the battery but that entire area was just uh, way too cluttered. And then the uh, the packaging on this thing is actually... Pfft, it's actually pretty crazy. I probably should have had a pocket knife or a pair of scissors with me, but I didn't. So, yeah, there we go. That's what it looks like right here. And there's actually a diagram on it that I'll show you uh, here in a second. Now, obviously, uh, I'm going to use the adhesive, and uh, I had to go and, uh, like, get the Windex and a paper towel to, to clean off the spot. Uh, sorry for the shoddy camera work, but I, I wanted you guys to see this, you know, with this, with this least amount of uh, cutscenes as possible. That bolt right in the center, uh, that's that's the ground. That's a, that's an awesome ground. I literally will just have to unscrew it. <coughs> Hopefully you'll be able to find those same things inside of your cars uh, and uh, just find a spot to, to stick this thing basically. Uh, this is me just literally spraying a little bit of Windex in there. Uh, there wasn't a lot of grease so I literally just sprayed Windex in there and uh, cleaned it off real well and made sure that I could check the uh, to make sure that the device was going to fit in there and uh, be clean so that the uh, the adhesive would uh, stick on it right. Yeah. Uh, and there you go. They actually tell you the color. We're going to go for the ground. Uh, green is the ground. What I did notice is the way the wires come out. Uh, they're not completely um, sealed up. So you... you uh, you need to make sure that you don't mount this thing so that the big hole in the side of it is pointing up. Uh, it's not a bad thing. If you look inside, it's actually sealed, but I just didn't water settling inside. Uh, uh, it was almost like a cup. Uh, I didn't want water settling inside of it. This is me. I've just spread the wires out, and now I'm getting ready to pull the adhesive off, which was not, it wasn't that easy. Once again, if I had a pocket knife, it would have been like zip zap, it's gone. But uh, I had to actually fight and actually do a cutscene here, just so that uh, you could you didn't have to watch me fighting with this plastic. And that is actually uh, industrial strength uh, adhesive Velcro, so you could actually pull it off of the vehicle and look at it or inspect it if you wanted to. Uh, but uh, I, I don't really see a need for it. I just applied a lot of pressure uh, and uh, held it for uh, you know some seconds and. Boom, it's on. All right, now I'm going to be going after the ground. It's really not that bad. Sorry for the shoddy camera work. Once again, I was just making sure that you guys, I didn't really want to do a lot of cutaways. Now that's the ground right there. Just going to pull off that little wire harness. Get in there with the old ratchet. 
and uh, you, you'll see me fight with this ratchet because it doesn't actually. It was a replacement. It's a. It's a. It's not a craftsman ratchet. It's just this little piece of junk. And uh, whenever I use it, it, it likes to change uh, the directions that you're using it in. The, the little lever on the back. And if you're a mechanic, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, it was a bit of a pain in the butt. As far as the bowl coming off, no problem. Now I'm just going to use the natural coil that the wires came shipped in to, uh, for organization. Maybe I'll come back later and zip tie this. I'm not exactly sure because it just fits so well where I had it set up. Right now I'm trying to figure out if I want to run it through the wire and uh, use it like a uh, an overhang, but I decided in the end to go underneath the wire. Uh, and so I would be able to use the uh, wire harness itself to keep it in place. This will keep the cord out of the way, semi-organized, uh, and then if I ever want to move it again, then I won't have cord everywhere. Or should I say wire, not cord. And then I'm just going to tuck this back behind it. I'm going to adjust the, uh, the ground wire itself. Uh, it was a little tight over the wire harness. Uh, I could have, I probably should have tucked this under the wire harness to begin with, uh, but I, this is just a quick installation video to show you how easy it is. And just like that, the ground is done. Now I'm pushing the wires over the top of the air handling unit. <coughs> and making them over to our power source, which is the battery. The red is the positive, the black is the negative. And you can see the wires were the way I, they kind of got bound up a little bit near the box. Uh, and uh, I'm really kind of stretching them here. I talk about them at the end of the video. Uh, because I know this is not optimal, uh, but I was able to come back later and readjust some of these wires. And uh, for those non-mechanical, just the simple tools to take off your, your battery connectors and put the uh, cables connected directly to your positive and negative on your battery. And we're going to speed this up a little bit. hook the positive to the positive, reconnect our nut and bolt system, which actually kind of fell apart on me. I'll talk about it a little bit later on in the video. You can see here where I changed my mind and decided to kind of flip it over. I didn't really like the way it was setting. Now we're going to do the negative, which was not falling apart, so it actually... I actually need to re replace my, my positive cables, uh, but uh, we'll do that when the time comes. And you'll notice too, I ran that, that negative right over the top of the positive, but uh, you know, you'll see later on where I'd fix that to, to run it back underneath the positive, so it's not such either an eyesore or in the way. Once again, this was just a quick video to show you how easy it is to hook up this device. back and check the device and look for a little green light. If the green light's on, we are good to go. And there we are. EMP shield installed. Ready to go. All right, so all in all, from the time I set up to make the video to the time I ended was less than 30 minutes. And the, uh, the actual installation was 
probably 15 minutes because I had to play with one of the nuts. My, uh, my, one of my positive battery connector was in bad shape. So I had to kind of manhandle that a little bit. <clears throat> but overall, like I say, you probably install this thing in about 10 minutes. Now, I do plan on going back. Uh, I want to test the adhesive a little bit, but I don't really care because, boom, it went right on. I do plan on going back and uh, putting some, uh, some holes in that firewall and screwing some screws in there to permanently mount that uh, device. But I'm happy with the installation. The only thing I didn't like, and EMP guys, pay attention. I know you watch my videos. Uh, could you make the negative wire maybe... Well, hell, could you make the positive and the negative wire? I don't know if it's a money thing or not. Could you make the negative wire in my case? And it was a 2005 Ford Explorer. Could you make the negative wire about two inches longer? That way I wouldn't have to kind of play with it. Uh, you can see, uh, I'll move this, you can see by this picture right here that I actually did adjust the wires a little bit more. Uh, and also I was able to use the factory wire clips along the back firewall here. And... Uh, yeah, so messy installation, don't care, because when this is all this, you guys should know my plan by now. I'm just going to drive, I'm going to drive over and pick all my loved ones up. What are you going to do? All right, guys, hopefully this helps you out. As usual, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Don't forget to like and follow. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.